I try to read them because I want to know what they think I'm doing. Or, and a lot of the stuff, I have to honestly say, is based on some thread of truth, a lot of it. Uh -huh. But they totally distort it, or they have to write that certain way. And then sometimes there's just stuff that's just totally out there, and I have to laugh. I think, well, who sits around and thinks this up? It's like jokes. But the tabloids, I'm the queen of the tabloids. <laughs> and it's almost like I'm getting kind of proud of it. It's like there's nothing I can do about it. I would like to talk a little bit about Carl because I find it so fascinating. You married him. You met him the first day you arrived in Nashville. Mm -hmm, in 1964. At the wishy-washy laundromat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I always make the joke, it's been wishy-washy ever since. <laughs> I found it interesting that you would get married, because that might have held you back, you know? We were married for a couple of years before anybody knew it, because at that time, I was working with a record label, Monument Records, and Fred Foster was the head of the label. And, you know, he'd said to me, I don't want you to get married because that's going to be detrimental to your career and we're spending a lot of money here and a lot of time. And I said, okay. So I went that weekend and got married. <laughs> <laughs> and I was married for two years before anybody knew it. That's how private Carl is and that's how private our lives have been. They've called us over the years an open marriage and that you can both, I guess, are free to have other romances if you want. Is well, true? we are definitely free to have them, whether we do or not. Uh huh. Th and that always sounds so great, the idea of the open marriage, yeah. but does it actually work in practicality? Well, that's, people have placed those terms on that. I mean, if he has an affair, I don't want to know it. If I have one, I'm sure he wouldn't want to know it. So it's not like something we discuss, like, oh, who was you with this week? <laughs> or who are you going to be with next week? Or how was the last one you was with? It is not like that. Our life is very private. We don't even, those kind of conversations don't even go through our daily conversations. What about children? Uh, did you decide not to have children? or? Well, I couldn't have children. Really? We didn't try or not try, and it just never happened. And now, uh, I used to be bothered by it, thinking that I should have children because all women do, and my sisters did, and this and that, and you know, that was the thing to do, is to have a child or to leave your things to or to teach or whatever. It didn't happen. And so I think all things work out the way they're meant to. And I have a very spiritual outlook on life. And I just accept things that I don't understand. Aren't your parents just flabbergasted by your success? I think my parents are proud for me and my success because they know that's what I wanted. I think as all parents, I think they probably worry about me working too hard, about death threats, and about all the things that go along with being a celebrity. But it's been very hard for me, and I've lived with a lot of guilt. I don't think of Dolly Parton as a guilty person, a person who has guilt. Well, my guilt is based on the love of other people, just like I was saying. It's like, if I, I feel guilty if I think I've worried my people. Mm -hmm. I, if I've worried my mom and daddy, or, they're, or somebody's calling them in the middle of the night saying that I've been killed on a bus, and they get all kinds of crank calls and things that really, you know, worry them. Mm -hmm. I mean, why, you would have to feel guilty if you have any heart and soul. About five years ago, you said the best thing I ever did was turn 40. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was coming anyway, so I might as well have enjoyed it. I mean, of course, we'd all love to be 21 forever and look beautiful forever, but it's inevitable. We're going to get old. We're going to get older. I just hope that I can be productive, and I'll always look as good as I can for the way that I look. I'll do whatever, <laughs> and, whatever it takes. yeah, whatever it takes. Uh -huh. But it's really plastic surgery. More, would you well, do? I would do plastic surgery. Anything it takes to make me feel comfortable, I would do it. And I'll probably never graduate from college. And <laughs> <laughs>